Nicole Ruth Ayo was part of a team of six girls from Gaza High School who represented the country at this year's International Junior Science Olympiad. The Olympiad is a distinguished global academic competition tailored for young minds in physics, chemistry and biology from all around the world to compete. This year's competition was attended by 55 competing countries, including Uganda. I start uh, theory papers. I, I also start multiple choice questions and practical, practical exams. They were mainly about physics. Despite her eagerness to compete, Ayos says she didn't even expect to come close to the podium. It was a bit scary because you're interacting with people from different countries. They have different ways of solving different questions and you get a bit intimidated. But I guess when I sat down and started writing the exam, I got confidence. With her win, Ayo is now confident that Uganda's education syllabus can compete favorably with other syllabuses internationally. I sat down with my South African friend one time and we were comparing our textbooks and he was actually shocked that our textbooks had what they had. Because what our textbooks had was what they would find in a higher level textbook. Her teammate Natasha Nantamba received the esteemed honorable mention. It taught me that I can, that there are opportunities, let's say, wherever you go. Because I reached there and I realized that if I could do this, then I can most likely do a lot of other things. Kevin Desire Massa, the administrator of the Science Olympiad Foundation in Uganda, says Uganda has always excelled at these competitions. And if you look at most of the achievements which have been in the academic arena, they have been kind of localized. But uh, this tournament is kind of elevated our scene and our presence in the scientific realm to uh, a more diverse audience, international audience. He adds that the competition offers a platform for young learners in Uganda to showcase their talent in the field of science. Much of the focus should actually be on these young learners as opposed to people who have already specialized at maybe university levels and things of that kind. So I feel like if we have more of such engagements, in a, in a, in a few years to come we'll have a very big group of uh, Reliable scientists, yes. Garoti Nampi Jajavira, a teacher of math and physics at Gaza High School, says her method of teaching is what interests her learners in not only excelling in science subjects, but also getting the confidence to compete internationally. Usually when I'm teaching the sciences, I, I let the students discover by themselves. I simply guide and they make the discovery. So that inter interests them a lot. Vis-a-vis, being the all-knowing and giving them all the knowledge. It means they would not even bother discovering. But once you just click their mind a little bit, then they are forced to discover more. President Museveni has in recent years championed the promotion of sciences as the key to Uganda's socio-economic transformation. Joyce Nakato, NTV Weekend Edition.